uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so we did docker compose up and this is the current state of the nation and here if you see we are getting error from the gatekeeper service which is going to talk to our firebase okay so we know what this error is because uh, gatekeeper service need to initialize with the firebase configuration and it is breaking because i think my credentials are not correct so what we need to do here is go to your project settings and uh, get create a web app like i have created a web application and copy all these credentials to your front end application which is your react application okay create your own applications and populate these and then go to the service account and just download the private key that will contain all your uh, private key uh, and uh, database names and all so this is what we have downloaded okay so what i'm doing is i'm manually copy pasting these things the private key so here is my private key the new private key so i will just replace this thing from here till here this is my private key okay then what else we have is a client email we should have something like that client email we can also copy this and then database url database url is i think we already have this in the front end application we can copy the same so here is our database url and i will just copy this to the database url and then we have a final project id project id is this copy this thing and paste it here okay so now we have populated the the latest configuration what we need to do here is we need to restart the gatekeeper service so here we are and we can see that our containers are up and running okay like i did docker compose build everything is fine i updated the configurations for the firebase in our gatekeeper service so now gatekeeper service is also up and running this is our swiggy microservice and finally our gatekeeper microservice gatekeeper is having only authenticate endpoint not uh, much so it's like a simple microservice we have for authentication and authorization okay so everything is perfect till now and uh, whatever the latest changes there are we i have posted that on the github so you need to do docker compose up just populate the dot env files for the front end and the back end microservices if i talk about what you need to populate in your dot envs i already have a env dot example you just need to populate the same same set of information this is for the gatekeeper service this is for the swiggy microservice which contains okay the postgres url your database connection postgres is our container and then we have a swiggy ui that will have your env containing the information about your firebase app uh, which you have configured onto firebase console okay what is the auth domain firebase key database url and all and we are able to run the application okay we will do the component changes and all these things now because we already have a landing page already developed we will see if our login authentication mechanism is working properly once user is logged in we have to manage the state in our redux so that all the other components will know okay the user has been logged in so but this is kind of setup we have on everything is on docker front end we are running npm run start just go to that folder npm install and npm run start okay so everything is perfectly fine till now it is able to connect to the database you can see and we have initial restaurant api is already up and running okay that will give us all the list of restaurant give me the restaurant by detail okay here i can also add the menu for a particular restaurant so what we will do is we will seed some data whenever the application is starting so that we will always have some seed data available that we can do through the postgres migrations which we are going to write with the help of typo rm here if you see in the code this is our swiggy service and here in the src currently we don't have migrations but we will add a migrations like a what all tables we have 
currently we have like a database table so we can also check the database table what all uh, content we have what all table structure we have in the, the postgres now if we want to get the the url of the database then we will go here our username password is admin admin so let's create a connection here what we will do is uh, we'll add a new connection okay so just give me a second so local host is host is local host and user is admin password is also admin and database is also admin everything i keep it admin and our port is 5432 let's see in the docker compose yml what port we are exposing for the outside world from the postgres so it's a 5436 okay so we have to connect to 5436 not 5432 from the local host and what we will do is we will go to this container here and we will populate some tables swiggy microservice attach shell okay and we will do npm run dv sync because currently we don't have migrations return so we will try to sync the database based on the entities we have created so if you see in the app domain we have entities and there are three entities so when you do a db sync it actually checks into the dist folder and app domain inside entities we have entities so it should be able to create uh, the database tables for us and then we should be able to check it uh, check the the set of tables using our database client tool okay so meanwhile it does we can actually take a look on to the docker compose for the postgres this is your host port this is your container port we have volume mapping and the database credentials okay using docker compose yml we are also creating the test database so that whenever you need to write a test uh, unit integration test you can actually target the test database we can have env.test also here env.test which will actually target the test database here we can just uh, create a test database and all now if we just see our database tables these are our database tables we can just check the restaurant table right this is perfectly fine created then we have menu restaurant menu this is also created so if you are not good with the migrations just keep doing npm run db sync it will be able to create the tables for you based on the entities you have written okay now our applications till now the whole setup is up and running right we, we did everything uh, as expected now what we are going to do here is we will just see the integration because we want swiggy microservice to talk to swiggy, uh, swiggy microservice to talk to gatekeeper service for token validation because there may be a multiple microservices we are going to have and for authentication authorization we have a gatekeeper service that will take care of that particular thing okay so let's see that uh, in the next video uh, thanks everyone